Thank you, Ken, for that very between the world's oldest and the world's biggest democracy. As President Trump has said, trade relationships should be based and must be based on fairness and reciprocity. But currently, U.S. businesses face significant market access barriers in India. These include both tariff and non-tariff barriers, as well as multiple practices and regulations that disadvantage foreign companies. India's average applied tariff rate is 13.8%, and that remains the highest of any major world economy. In February, during the U.S.-India Commercial Dialogue and the CEO Forum meeting. India is already the world's third largest economy. And by 2030, it will become the world's largest consumer market because of the rapid growth of its middle class. Yet today, India is only the U.S. 13th largest export market due to overly restrictive market access barriers. Meanwhile, the U.S. is India's largest export market, accounting for something like 20% of the total. That's a real imbalance, and it's an imbalance we must strive to counteract. To introduce Secretary Wilbur J. Ross. And we are confident that U.S. technologies and expertise can play an important role in serving India's critical development needs. Our strict Foreign Corrupt Practices Act also assures the Indian government that our companies will not cause scandals here. But American companies need to operate in a transport parent environment supported by the rule of law and a level playing field. At the global investment firm Warbus Pincus, an executive VP of... American companies now have a unique opportunity to increase defense technology sales to India, which in turn will help balance our trade relationship. This week's trade mission demonstrates our resolve in taking on our economic relationship to new heights. Partnership initiative between the United States and India. Please join me in welcoming the ambassador.